What's up, what's going on guys? Your boy Crimson Dragon ENT here back at it again with some more EA Sports UFC 4. This time I'm bringing you something special. You guys have been asking me and asking me and asking me, how do you make Jay Kulina in UFC? But that was UFC 3. We're not playing that no more. We're playing UFC 4. So I decided to create him in UFC 4 and also a treat. We're also going to be seeing the actual real match between Jay Kulina and Ryan Wheeler. I'm going to show you guys how I made both these two. And then we're going to see both of them clash in the yard. Because that's how these two would do it. So anyways. Well, they probably wouldn't want a lot of money for it anyway. So we're going to do it in Madison Square Garden. Yeah, we're going to do it there. So anyway, let's get into this. So Jay Kulina. Let's see how I made him. So as you can see, I got the typical tattoos going on, the arm tattoos, I got the leg tattoo going, got the hair. Uh, let's talk about the hair actually, because there's something that you can do for the hair. Actually, let's see here, 155, 5'8", that's how the, tall the actor is in real life, not sure that's how tall Jay Kalina is, I don't remember. That's how old the actual actor is, I put a stance on um, Eddie Alvarez, figured that was a little bit simpler. Um, oh, I also have him at Jiu Jitsu Vanguard. Because, um, as you can see his perks here, right there. I wanted Jay Kalina to have flashy moves, because he does have flashy moves in the show. But, he has really good submissions. So that's why his stand-up is a little bit lacking, but his grappling is really up there. And, um, yeah. So, like whenever Jay Kalina sinks in a triangle, that thing is going deep. He has one of the best triangles. Probably in the show, I would assume in the show. And, uh, yeah. So, that's, that's that. And, um, I want to talk about the hair real quick. So, this hair right here, the mohawk, is usually what Jay Kalina rocks when he's ever going into a fight. And the mustache is a little bit odd. So, here's something you could do for the mustache. I personally like it like this. Even though it's a curly mustache, you can barely see it. So, it looks like a regular mustache in-game. And also, the beard is kind of light on the face, too. That's what I like. But, you could also go this route right here you know the mustache and the beard but i feel like the beard is just too bold to be on uh the face of jay colina so that's why it's a little bit messed up too so that's why i kind of liked it like this jay colina whatever he shows up to a fight is always clean you know he likes to look good in the octagon so yeah um the head I just put a typical head. You guys know I don't do faces a lot, so I tried my best, but hey. The eyes, I put green. I'm not sure if the actor has blue or green eyes or hazel eyes, but they were definitely really light eyes. So I just gave him green. I figured that's the color I most, you know, recognize his eyes as. The body, I put, you know, a typical shredded body for a lightweight, but a little bit heavier looking. So, yeah. Um, the tattoos. Tattoos here. You can see I blended the lion into this sort of tattoo chest piece here. Kept the uh, the shading somewhat the same because he has a pony and a lion, which I believe represents him and his daughter. But they don't have a unicorn slash pony in the game. So, I couldn't really make that. But I stuck with the lion, though. And there's also another chess piece, um, very religious chess piece here for Jay Kulina. Try to mimic the actual size of it from the show, but, you know, try my best. Anyways, you got the arm tattoos right here. You got the leg tattoo, which nobody really sees, so I'm not sure if I got it right. But it looks something like that, from what I remember. Hopefully it's okay. But, uh, yeah... The typical clothing we got for Jay Kulina here is some Valetudo shorts. Which, you know, it's basic, basic black. As well as the gloves too. Um, you can see right here that it's pretty much, you don't have to do anything to really unlock these shorts. They're pretty much the first ones you get in the game as well as the gloves. So, emotes, I don't really have any emotes. I could, you know, add some funny ones here and there, but you know, hey. Alright, so he puts some emotes on Jay Kalina. You'll see those if he does them. Hopefully he does. And, uh, yeah. Let's get to Ryan Wheeler. 
All right, so here is my Ryan Wheeler. The Destroyer, I will say, is a little bit messed up. But it's all right. You know, it's all right. This is the typical tattoo that he has on his arms. And got the sword in the back. There we go. These shorts, you know, I just put them on him. I figured he would have different shorts than uh, Jay Kulina. The beard was hard because he has dirty blonde hair. And uh, try to work that in. He also has this typical. This is actually the typical haircut for Ryan Wheeler. Uh, now you would see his body looks a little bit too skinny to be Ryan Wheeler. That's exactly what I thought too. But once he's in game, he definitely looks fit and shredded when he's in game. So yeah, I put Wrestling Dominator. Uh, let me show you guys his perks here. That comes with the Dominator. His grappling is outmatched his stand-up is a little bit lacking but he's definitely got some power in those punches there he's got good health and uh, that's typically how ryan wheeler fights you know he just does his stand-up to get you to the ground or rock you or something so yeah i got the general info right here this is how tall the actor is he's 511 he's 155 got the destroyer he's actually 38 in real life i put kevin lee as his you know uh, posture, I figure that's what, you know, closely resemble his posture. Um, let's get a look at the, the, the hair here. This is what I went with, as you can see. The face, uh, I don't really mess with the face, you guys know that. So, I can show you guys what template face I used. Probably the nose, the nose is a bit too pointy for Ryan Wheeler. Got the eyes as blue. Got the, 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 uh, the beard. Show you guys what I put. I put this haircut here. Um, put this beard right there. Doesn't really have any body hair that I remember. <laughs> so um, the head I can show you guys is this head right here. It's template 33. I, like I said, I don't mess with the faces that much. <laughs> so whenever I mess with them, they always come out weird. Got the dark blue eyes. Got the body. This is the body I went with, body 10. Uh, you could definitely also go with body five but i already went with that um for jay Colina, and i noticed the pecs aren't really as you know defined for ryan wheeler and really why ryan wheeler should be like this but uh i don't really want <laughs> he doesn't really look that much like that you know i figured this would be a good substitute so yeah you guys can play with that one a little bit the tattoos here we go. So the body, I got the cross right there, right at the middle of the pecs. I got Destroyer. I didn't really like the way the T looked in this font, so I kind of just blended two eyes together. Um, left arm, I also I got this one right here, Celtic Tribal 15. Uh, for this one, you can put Celtic Tribal 12 on there. Uh, oh, let me show you guys the font that I picked out. I picked out Clairvox font. That's what I used um doesn't have any tattoos on his legs so there you go uh and yeah that is oh let me show you guys the shorts because the shorts are different the shorts i just randomly got to be honest uh i got these shorts from a box well yeah customization pack i guess you can call it uh it's called speed brown they're common to get so you might be able to get them uh the gloves i kept the gloves as such Oh, and the uh, the mouthpiece is called Desert Camo, and for Jay Kalina's, I forgot to show you guys, it's called Fangs. Looks like that. That's what Jay Kalina actually rocks. I'm not sure which uh, mouthpiece that Ryan Wheeler rock rocks. Kind of forgot, <laughs> but uh, yeah, the emotes. I don't really have any. We'll put that one. Yes, sir. All righty. Anyways, I'll put these emotes on and then we'll get right into the fight. All right, coming up next, the main event, a matchup for the US All right, so here we go, the championship belt, Ryan Wheeler versus Jay Kulina. Their third official match begins right now. All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender making his way to the octagon and looking to lead as Jay Kulina retired, but now he's back. Coming up against longtime teammate, rival, friend, whatever you want to call him, Ryan Wheeler. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it 
just a few minutes away. There we go. There is Jay Kulina. Yes, sir. Look at this man. He's ready to go. He's ready. Now let's get a look at his opponent. Ryan Reeler. Where is that? Johnny Cash. Oh, right. The music is copyrighted. I forgot. All right. Here's the UFC lightweight champion. Look at him. Look how shredded that man is. Ryan Wheeler. Ryan Wheeler has dominated the lightweight division thus far, waiting for the return of his longtime teammate, rival, best friend, whatever you want to call it. Jay Colina. Ryan Wheeler is here to defend his belt for the, one of the greatest trilogies of all time. Here we go is Ryan Wheeler. Our tail of the take for this, our main event of the evening. I'm not sure who would have the reach advantage, probably Ryan Wheeler. He's got three inches, and he's also three inches taller. That's crazy. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergley. That's a big man right there. Hopefully he can keep these guys off each other when it's time. Let's go. This is the moment you yeah. I should have probably put UFC gloves on him, but I forgot. Either way, here we go. The match that the world has been waiting for. Fight of the decade contender. Ryan Wheeler versus Jay Colina for the UFC lightweight belt. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 8 inches tall. Weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Venice Beach, California. Presenting the challenger. The king. The King Kulina after his father, Alvi Kulina. Here we go with Ryan Wheeler. Here tonight, he stands five feet eleven inches tall, weighing in at one hundred fifty-five pounds. Fighting out of Ventura. Ah, damn, Victor, I can't join your party. I'm sorry. The greatest fight in the decade is about to happen right now. I got them both on Legendary, so we're gonna see a special show. Here today. All right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to be my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves. So back to corners, not fight. Jay Kalina did not touch gloves. Here we go, Ryan Wheeler. Yeah. Where's Jay Kalina? He's right there. <laughs> All right, let's get it going. Here we go. No glove touch. It's a question of when this fight Oof. You've got a grappler, a Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt. Most people oh. oh, they're going in. Oh, here we go. Ryan Wheeler has the clinch. Jay reverses. Ooh, with the elbows. Oh, Ryan with the takedown. Boom. Here we go. What he Jay moves to sprawl. Ryan Wheeler has control. Jay gets out. Oof. Oh, here we go. Working in the clinch. Ooh. Oh, with the spinning back. Oh, Ryan Wheeler with another takedown. Jay Kalina can't keep getting taken down like this. He's giving Ryan Wheeler control time. He doesn't want to do that. Oh. Jay Kalina's a master off his back. Ryan Wheeler has to be careful. Oh, reversed! He's going for the arm triangle! Could this already be an end to Ryan Wheeler's championship reign? Ryan Wheeler is uh, trying to get out of this uh, submission here. It looks like he is about to. Jay Kalina's failing to get this in deep. Oh, and Ryan Wheeler gets out of there. 
close guard here. He's very comfortable. Jay Kalina on top. Some high level ground and pound here in DC when you're throwing. He's trying to change position, but Ryan Wheeler is too strong on the ground. Ooh, they're going, they're going out of here on the ground. Ah, uh, Jay is not letting him move anywhere. Jay moves the half guard. For too long here on the ground with this guy. Oof! Boom! Boom! To the body! He is just punishing that body. He's able to relax here. Ryan Wheeler gets back to full guard. Reverses! Now he's in back mount. Or backside rather. Oh, here we go. Oh! Ryan Wheeler says no, sir! Oh, he says no, sir, again! Oh, oh, Jay moves into half guard. He's trying to get into that full guard. Probably looking for a triangle. Oh, that's a good right. Oh! Oh, Ryan Wheeler says no, sir. He's too strong. Oh, murdering the body with the ground and pound. Oh, they're just reversing each other right now. Oof. Oh, here we go. Jay Kalina's in full guard. He's going for the Kimura. Can he get it here? He's trying to stay on him. He's getting on that bar. That usually makes you tap. He's locking his, his hands together. He's putting the leg up. This could be the end for Ryan Wheeler. He's getting the leg over. Oh, this is the end. He's getting it in here. Ryan Wheeler has to escape the submission. It could all be over right now. And it's over, Ryan Wheeler taps out! What a beautiful Kimura finish by this great fight. There we go, Jay Kulina. When you're in that compromised state. Wins the UFC gold, look at this man. He's out here, dancing around for his fans. There we go, what a show that Jay Kulina just put on. That was a war on the ground. Does a great job of staying patient. He, he got in that Kimura. I told you guys, as soon as Jay Kalina gets in the full guard, it could all be over. But yeah, Ryan Wheeler did a good job controlling on the ground, but Jay Kalina is just too slick. He's too quick. And his submissions are too stick. There we go. Look at that dance move. He said he can go another five rounds. The way he got it done tonight. A, a long time coming this match has been. And, and we have now put it into this great trilogy with Jay Kulina coming out on top, winning UFC gold for his brother Nate Kulina. And here we go, UFC lightweight champion Jay Kulina. Thank you all for watching. Hope you had a good day. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you're new. Let me know if you want me to take these guys online and show them what to do. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Peace! Congratulations to the champ. He did a great job in winning this belt.